Well, it's October 20th. I'm getting ready to head out to a farm. I've had a lot of luck in the past. And last year I was able to videotape three bow harvests out there. Hopefully, I'll have an opportunity again today. I haven't been there all year, so I'm itching to get out there. So catch you guys here in about an hour and a half. Hey guys, had those deer come in right at shooting light. They milled around and they got downwind of me and they started spooking. Double teamed them with the Harmons. Interdigital. And this is bow hunters. It's for early season bow hunting. I sprayed that out and they were right down here. The winds were right at them. And they were flagging and they came back and they calmed down and they came into the woods. I shot the first one in line. They all looked the same size. This landowner wants dead deer. Hopefully, put a good hit. I see my arrow land down there. I'm gonna give it some time. They might, those deer might come back. Well guys, I'm here and uh, got a little problem. Um, like I might have hit back on that deer. I don't know how. I was right tight on his shoulder. I don't know if it took a step when I shot. I'm going to try to look for some blood. If it's uh, what I think, we're going to have to leave it sit up for a while. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, this new camera should pick this up, guys. But this is why I shoot rages. And uh, even on a back hit. Look at this blood trail. Guys. And uh, there's the deer. This device that Dean Scott from Scott Extreme made up. Designed this whole thing. And I'm going to tell you what. It it's works. Great. This is basically, once you tighten this onto the camera, it's like a trigger, guys. You move that around, and the ability to adjust this at different angles because of the system he has here is incredible. All you need to do is two 7 16 wrenches and make very slaw, small, like, micro adjustments to these bolts to get the tension where you want it, where it will stay there. Now, this is all high-quality... American made steel guys. This is no Japanese or Chinese or whatever. These are all made in America employing American people and it's all American materials. That's what I like about it. Plus it's affordable. This isn't aluminum. This is half inch square American steel tubing. Solid and let me show you something. 
I don't have my old camera arm, the Gorilla camera arm, even slid together. It's still this big. There's no way I could fit this in my fanny pack. This, look at that. It fits right in my fanny pack. And let me tell you how much easier that is to get it out into the tree. And when you're videotaping yourself, every little bit of vantage you can get to make it a little bit easier and lighter and smaller is perfect. Like I said, this isn't a professional grade arm, but you know what? In my mind, it is to me. I told you there's two different ways to put them onto the tree. The T-bolt, which just, it goes right into the tree so easy. And then you, this is your mounting. Or the ratchet strap, which that straps onto the tree. There's advantages to both. Uh, if you live somewhere where you got a lot of hardwood and you can't get this into the tree, then this is the way to go. Or if you want some different adjustments or you don't want to mark your trees up, this is the way to go. Either way, guys, for under $90, you've got a dependable, American-made, nice, packable camera arm. Well, guys, this is a Third Arm Mini. Excellent product. Check it out. I'll have the address here at the end of the video. Well, hey everybody, it's Uncle Bucky, back with the deer. I've got a field dressed, getting ready to load it up. It ran about 70 yards. Uh, the shot was a little bit further back than I really anticipated or wanted, but it ended up hitting both lungs, going out the liver, and then just, ver just barely went out the side of the uh, stomach cavity. Anyways, the Rages did a great job once again, and that's where I think they really excel, is on those marginal hits. And my, you know, I'm not taking the lead deer, I anticipated the deer running back out in the field and possibly getting another shot at them. Well, they ran back out and I bleated at them, but one thing I did this morning is I forgot my true talker, so I was just using my voice, and a lot of times, you know, that doesn't sound right. It'll stop a deer, but it doesn't really sound exactly like another deer. Well, it stopped this deer evidently, or this deer ended up 70 yards over and crashed. I found it, I was very happy, I was very fortunate. And I want to take this time to thank God for that. You know, with my multiple sclerosis, it's hard for me to get out to the woods every time I really want to. But you know what? God allows me to get out and He provides for me every time I go out. And I just want to thank Him for that. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. I appreciate the time. And as always, take care, be safe, and you know most of all, have fun.